everybody, I'm here with Jim Merkel, who is our first Earth Month guest, and he is my counterpart actually at Dartmouth University in New Hampshire, um, but also the author of a book called Radical Simplicity, um, Small Footprints on a Finite Earth, and we're really glad to have you here, so thank you for coming. It's a pleasure. Okay, so I'm going to play a little game with you. Um, you are going to be talking about being locavore tonight, and about local eating and what that means for sustainability, and I'm going to pull out some mystery food items out of my bag, <laughs> and I just want you to tell me what you think of when you consider each of these foods, okay? Oh, great, great, Are you ready great. to play? Oh, I'm ready. Okay, so close your eyes. Find door number one. Close your eyes. <laughs> okay. Food item number one. Wow. Yeah. Cheetos. High fructose corn syrup, probably. <laughs> Who saw a king corn, huh? Right. Well, so concerns boy, about that from a sustainability yeah. perspective? Oh boy, this is just packaging, a little tiny bit of food and a lot of this, shipped really long distances. This probably tastes really awful. Like Cheetos, like it's probably not real cheese. It's probably, uh, yeah, it's, it's just a, a list of ingredients that's about six miles long. Okay. And all sorts of chemical compounds. Who took college chemistry? Uh, not me, but I can't pronounce half the names. Can you? Uh, right. No, I, I don't know what any of that stuff is. Okay, Rito Lays is corporate America. It's corporations feeding us. So, right. Uh, okay, let's set that aside. Wow. So close your eyes okay, again. Okay. I'm going to give you another product. Oh, she's ruining my appetite. Oh, here we go. Coffee. Yeah, I'm addicted, man. Yeah, I'm an addict to coffee. It's so this is an Ohio-based company Ohio that's actually product. based here in, in Southeast Ohio, but of course coffee doesn't come from Southeast Ohio. Coffee has been probably shipped out four to 5,000 miles. The beans probably come from, it doesn't, it doesn't say where. I think it comes from somewhere in South America. South America, but it is fair trade, I see, which is, I think, that it's better than not fair trade because it, this means the workers are getting a decent pay and they're not being uh, overrun by thugs. Mm -hmm. uh, what would it take for you to give up coffee in the name of sustainability, Jim? Boy, oh boy, you really have to work on me. Well, I'm addicted. I have one addiction and it's coffee. And it's, it's a nasty addiction. But um, I drive hardly ever, so uh, for me, I put it on my footprint sheet that mm -hmm. I drink coffee. Mm -hmm. And in the bigger picture, it's not my biggest footprint item. It's a tiny item on the spreadsheet, but it's uh, better if you do tea, like local mint tea. Or, okay, okay. Uh, put that item down, thing. and I'm going to give you another item. But it's packaged, mm -hmm. and it's probably shipped to four or five thousand miles. Right. And, and roasted locally, probably. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Close your uh, eyes. Energy. Next one. Mm. But she she took me, went for my Achilles heel right away. Oh, Ohio grown organic mint tea. I already had, yeah, mint. This is what I grow in my garden. Mm -hmm. And I actually love mint tea, and it's got spearmint and organic, to, you know, again, packaged, but it's a local company. And it's loose leaves, so less it's, packaging. Yeah, it's, it's Athens, Ohio. It doesn't have a little staple in every one. Mm -hmm. It's probably been shipped all up about 10 miles. You could actually even do it by bicycle, probably. Probably, but, yeah. She lives and, on the east side. Yeah, now if you're drying mint, you can air dry mint. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, this would be a, quite a sustainable product. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, put that one aside. Nice. I got one more for well, you. This, now we're getting into locavore. These two are not locavore. <laughs> okay. You would be, you could, you'd have, if you have wild cards, you can have one or two wild cards for some local board challenges. Uh huh. But you've already done your two wild cards. Okay, with the Cheetos and the coffee. Cheetos okay. And the coffee. Okay, last okay, item. Last item. Hmm. Oh, this is like, we, she, she started worse and she keeps getting better. Oh, man. Ball canning jar. This is the ball company was probably from Ohio, weren't they? I don't know. That'd be an interesting Even the jar that. maker, I mean, this is. Um, Every grandma knows how to do this, and I do a ton of this. So at home, my my cabinets right now are half full of empties of these oh, okay. that I've emptied out. But uh -huh. this is, you know, probably somebody bought, harvested my sister-in-law. Her sister-in-law. Yeah. You knew her. Yes. And no one was uh, like work making her work 14-hour days. No, 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 she no. she okay. works in a healthy work environment, which is her home. Oh, look at this. Yeah, and then you can go it. ahead and try it. We'll do a little taste test here. Yeah, and okay. while I tell um, our viewers that you can come and hear Jim Merkel speak about the benefits of being a locavore tonight wow. at 7 p.m. and um, in Bentley Hall, you should come and also look up the entire Earth Month calendar on our website, which is ohio.edu slash sustainability. Happy Earth Month.